All right, today uh, we're going to be diagnosing EVAP code. I got a, uh, well, let's see here, P0496, which is for incorrect purge flow. Um, and basically what that's telling us is um, your car has a emission system which recycles gas vapors uh, through the intake and the purge valve is what controls how much of those vapors enter the engine or in the intake manifold. Basically this is telling us that for one reason or another we're getting a flow when we shouldn't be getting a flow. So more than likely we have a purge valve that's failed on this truck so that's going to be the first thing we check. Um, if that's not the problem then we'll go into further diagnostic but um, I like using this little handheld tool just to check and clear codes real quick. I'll leave a link to this in the video description below. It's pretty handy. I think they're like 50 bucks on Amazon. But um, you can check all your monitors. There's no data, but honestly, the whole reason I got this because it's quick, it's easy, it's got a nice little short cord on it, and um, all that good stuff. But <clears throat> Alright, so let's go under the hood here and I'll show you how we're going to check to see if this purge valve is leaking. And also, at the end of this video, I'm going to do a bench test on this purge valve, so uh, be sure you watch to the end. Okay, on this particular truck, uh, the purge valve is pretty hard to get to. It's underneath the intake manifold. So, um, what I've actually done is access the line that comes off the purge valve. And what I'm going to do is just stick a um, vacuum hose inside of this tube. And I'm actually, yeah, see, I'm just going to take this vacuum hose. I'm going to put it inside the air. I'm actually going to blow inside this to see if. Uh, I can blow through the valve, and if I can, that indicates this valve is bad because those valves should always be shut. Um, I'm also going to try and suck through it too to see if it see if it seals either way. But we're going to go go ahead and, uh, and in in this case, I was actually able to uh, suck through it, so we know this valve is bad. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out here, and I'm going to show you guys how to test this on the bench. All right, this is the purge valve um, I removed from this vehicle. And these things are relatively easy to test. Um, this one was hard to get to, but I was able to follow the vacuum tube that came off it. And I actually hooked a vacuum pump, and um, I was able, this thing wouldn't hold vacuum. Um, when you test them, you just want to make sure you're testing it in the flow. That is designed to flow, because if you're pulling a vacuum on on the side where the pressure is going into, you may, be, you may open that plunger, plunger, and it will seem like it's failing when it's really not. So in this case, um, this side is actually coming from the gas tank, this side is going to the intake, so we want to pull a vacuum on the side that's going to the intake. And um, if it holds vacuum, it's good. If it doesn't, it's bad. Or you can put pressure on the side that's coming from the gas tank. If you put pressure on this side and it doesn't hold pressure, um, then this valve's no good. In this case, um, I actually just, once I got it out, I verified it just by uh, cleaning it up and, and blowing through it. And I was actually able to physically blow through this purge valve. So um, this is bad. And basically the way this thing works is just an electronic solenoid, um, a magnetic solenoid that opens and closes a valve inside of here and those uh, valves you know, do tend to leak and that's when it will start setting those codes. Uh, basically it's just a 12 volt, 12 volt uh, supply. It's two pin, one, two. So you could, you're able to put a 12 volt power supply to this and you'll be able to hear the valve actuate back and forth. Um, so when it opens you should be able to should be able to get some uh, flow through here and when it's closed you shouldn't so that's how you test a purge valve this purge valve is definitely bad and that's what's causing our check engine light so we're going to go ahead and put a new one in here but appreciate you guys watching hope this video is helpful be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the flat rate mechanic thanks